first winter run. It's November 8th, I think. Yeah. That's beautiful out here. I didn't want to do this. I thought, oh, it's cold. I don't want to do it. Now that I'm out here, it's so beautiful. My legs feel good. My mind feels good. My heart feels good. And I just started thinking about, man, four years ago, I never would have done this. I wouldn't have even wanted to come out here and walk in the snow. I would have been sitting on my butt. I don't know, eating a donut. Still love donuts, don't get me wrong, I might get one later. Feeling sad for myself. And now look what I get to do. Because I chose to make a change in my life. And I keep choosing every day to work on that change, to better myself, to make myself healthier and happier. And now these little legs of mine, oh, I don't like to think of them as little. These strong legs of mine can carry me probably about seven miles today in the snow in these beautiful hills of Idaho. I might not have a race right now, but I still have my health. I still have a healthy mind and a happy heart. My shoulder is getting sore and I gotta get back to work, but I'm so glad that I made the changes I did. And today I'm feeling extra grateful. Time to get back to it. But now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends. No waking up. My mind has too many thoughts today while I'm out here running by myself. You know, I was sad because I normally have a running buddy, but oh I was fell. She got injured. So I've been running alone for I think a couple months now. And I was like, oh, I can't do this alone. I can't motivate myself to go alone. You can, you just do it anyway. I'm literally out here on these trails in Idaho. I haven't seen anybody for like 20 minutes. Can't speak of the truth when it's tainted. I fell. I'm actually kind of hot now, but you don't need other people to succeed. Sure, it's helpful. It really is, and it's been a huge part of my journey, and I literally can't wait to run with my friend again. But, like, you don't have to depend on anybody else to succeed. You have to step up, do it yourself, and do it for yourself. Sure. It's okay to have some external motivators, but you gotta find it in your heart. This is gonna be a crap video, it's so shaky, and I can't breathe, but I keep having so many thoughts that I just wanna share. It's time to turn around. You guys are probably like, it's snowing. Why are you wearing sunglasses? Oh, it's because it's snowing. I learned this from my very smart friend. It's like goggles. Um, I didn't quite make it to the top of the hill today. I have a set amount of time that I run, so it's time to turn around. My IT bands and my quads are fired up. Running in the snow is a little bit different. I'm excited to run back down this hill. Um, just, it's great out here, I literally can't see anything. It's so beautiful. I am so lucky to live where I live, for my body to move the way it moves. You literally, you cannot take anything for granted, ever. Look at this. I would not be able to see this if I wouldn't have made the choices I made years ago. There's no way I would even walk. I'm like almost, I think about three miles in. Let's see, 2.88, but uh, it's a little slow because the snow situation, but I wouldn't even walk this far because by the time I get back, it's gonna be like six miles, right? Like, I'm just grateful. Grateful that I chose me many days in a row and then I keep doing so. So that's all I have to say. 
this beautifulness. And every time that you walk through the door. Got about six and a half miles in. And I'm still just so thankful. I am so thankful. Love my body. I love Idaho. I love, I don't know. I love the things. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on my first winter run 2020. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you next time.